Welcome back to the Cultural Curriculum Podcast, my dear educator friend, neighbor, and person who just wants to learn how to create those cross-cultural connections with our community at large. I have some really fun book titles in honor of Indigenous Peoples Heritage Month. And I am so excited. One of the authors I know and is a community member in Northern Minnesota. And these are some titles that I'm excited to even read myself that I just have to share out with you all. I'm a slow reader, so some of the chapter books I'm gonna read and then come back and give my review. But I'm gonna give you a little preview to make sure you go out and get these titles. It's so important that we want to support our BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and other people of color authors in their space and in their voice. That's how you can really gel with this cross-cultural connection. Without further ado, I am going to chat about Josie Dances. It is written by Denise Lajimoldier and illustrated by Angela Erdrich. Another book, Dreaming in Indian, Contemporary Native American Voices. And it's edited by Lisa Charlie Boy and Mary Beth Leatherdale. The Sky Watched. Poems of Ojibwe Lives by Linda Lagarde Grover and Res Dogs. It is written by Joseph Bruchak. I am so excited to share with you. First and foremost, I love poetry. I love poems. Three of the four books have been written in poetic verse. The first one that I picked up last year at an independent bookstore, Dreaming in Indian. I just love the photographs and the foreword. It talks about, and I quote, if your imagination isn't working, and of course, in oppressed people, that's the first thing that goes. You can't imagine anything better. Once you can imagine something different, something better, then you're on your way. This book is about indigenous youth many years ago. And it really shows the artists and the writers how they view themselves, the authors say, their beliefs, the medicines, their art, their stories, and to their music. In a contemporary way, you've got all kinds of tribal nations represented in this book. They even have these chapter headings For example, growing up with the Disney version of Pocahontas, they talk about their feelings about that. They talk a lot about social justice issues in this book, being reunited with family, life lessons, how the music industry from hip hop to rock has influenced their lives, even in sports and thinking outside of the box and using their art as a form of expression as well as pride. There's an artist named Louis Gong Nooksack and how he talks about growing up in uh, Ruskin, British Columbia and buying a pair of vans. So for Louis, it talks about him working at a tribal college and buying a pair of vans shoes and painting it with traditional designs. And he wore it to work that day and was soon taking orders of customization from others who wanted um, to show and bring a rareness to racial and cultural identity. Now he's a recognized leader internationally and he speaks around the world and showing his art and in order to help foster that deeper connection with others using his cultural pride. For our elementary students, Josie Dances, really love this book, by Denise Lajimodier. This book talks about a young girl named Josie going to have the honor of 
dancing in her first powwow. This book explains to our young students the traditions of the elder women coming together and Josie asking each woman in her life to make something special for her to wear for her debut and how she will finally get her spirit name and having it come to her as a dream. It's just beautifully written, showing the connectedness of the women in Josie's life and the preparedness that the people in her tribal group are gathering together for their powwow. The illustrations are just beautiful. Watercolor that Angela Erdrich had created and just showing the students that are reading this book alongside with their educator that the traditional snacks that they eat, the Indian tacos, and the beautiful depiction of the turtle, the turtle island, and um, gearing up for this beautiful celebration of how their hair is adorned, and the elders coming in and giving her pieces of regalia to wear for her special day. She gets her beautiful name, which I'm not going to be a spoiler alert, but it's just beautifully tied into her dream. In the back, it has a glossary of the words spoken. Turtle Mountain, the reservation where the story takes place. The next book I'm gonna share with you would be for upper elementary students. It's been written and created by Joseph Bruchak. He's a very famous author in this space. It's called Res Dogs, and I just picked it up at the bookstore a couple days ago, so I haven't read it yet, but I'm already liking it so far. It's in more of a poetic verse again, but it talks about Molly and she finds this little dog that comes to her and it talks about their relationship of her being at home on the Wabanaki Reservation. I'm gonna take some time and read this book and then I will give my full review in a podcast coming up soon. And another great book by a community member that I highly respect, The Sky Watched Poems of Ojibwe Lives and it's written by Linda Lagarde Grover. I met Linda in the school district where I used to work in her love of being her full authentic self as an Ojibwe elder. She created a bunch of poems, which was originally published in 2016 and then was re-copywritten in 2022. Her collection of stories and poems that ranges from old Ojibwe folk tales, sacred number of four in the Ojibwe culture of the four seasons, the medicine wheel, and the four aspects of Ojibwe life. And it talks about even boarding school memories and the hardships and the despair that it came with. This is such a beautifully written book and I highly recommend you purchasing again. The titles are Res Dogs, Josie Dances, and then for your young adult readers, The Sky Watch and Dreaming in Indian would be those titles. So. That's all I have for you today. I will definitely be reading Res Dogs and coming back with a book review there. Be sure to share this episode with anybody who is interested in furthering their understanding of getting books that have the amplification of Indigenous people's lives. Thanks again. I will see you here same time next week. Bye-bye.